Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren, and if you are new here, I like to post a lot of fashion and beauty and lifestyle videos, so if you like that kind of stuff, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a thumbs up. So today's video, I am going to be filming a bag review. This will be for the Valentino Rock Stud Mini Crossbody Bag which is a mouthful, but that's the name of it. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts, please keep watching. Okay, so you guys, this is how I keep my bag. I keep it in the dust bag that it came with. Obviously, as you can see, it has the Valentino logo right here. So before I get into it, I am sort of going to break down a few different things. So first I'm going to start with the functionality of the bag, how I feel about using it, all of that good stuff, some wear and tear, and then I'm going to let you guys know if I think it's worth buying or not. First off, let me show it to you guys. So I'm going to pull it out of the dust bag and here it is just like this okay and it has this long strap first before I explain the functionality um, I just wanted to explain how I came to get this bag so originally a few years ago I was with my friend and we went out one night and she took this bag with her and I fell in love with it I just thought it was so cute I love like little bags to take out when you go for dinner or when you're going out so I wanted to get one for myself of course I did not get it until years later that's how I decided to purchase it I actually saw it on the Valentino website um, I think I've had it now for about two years and it was on sale actually I'm not sure the original price but I did get it for around $900 on sale from the Valentino website so I saw it on sale and I was like you know what I've been eyeing this for a few years now and I really wanted to get it and so I picked it up so now first let me talk about functionality so as you can see this bag is obviously really small um, I still have this sticker here because I'm scared to take it off because I just don't want anything <laughs> to scratch I know sort of there's not really a way around it right when you use something it just gets scratched as you wear it um, which is okay but I just feel like if I can keep it on there and like no one notice then I'll keep it as long as I can so that's that but so functionality like I said it is a tiny bag but that's sort of why I love it I just think it's so cute and it does have the long strap so you can wear it crossbody and it's a perfect crossbody length like it's not like weirdly long or too short it's a perfect length I obviously love this strap because it has the studs all along the strap which is just so beautiful I love that the studs go all along the strap I hate when you buy like a really expensive bag and the strap is just Eh, like not that nice <laughs> but this is beautiful so I'm really happy with that but it also does have these little hooks here okay and so one thing that's really cool about this bag is that it's a little versatile so you can sort of switch out how you want to wear it and I'm going to show you guys so first if you're not a huge crossbody person um, which I do love crossbody bags so that's not me but if you are you can always change it into a shoulder bag and this is just by folding the strap over like this I do this with a lot of my bags so this isn't the only one but you just do that here you go you have a little shoulder bag and you can wear it on your shoulder just like this and it's super cute now another way that's really cute on how to wear this which is one of my favorite ways is we can go ahead and take this strap off and I'm gonna just totally take the straps off okay unstrap both of them okay and then what I do is you see how the strap here has a buckle we're gonna unbuckle it I'm gonna take the little strap right here and I'm gonna buckle this together just like that so it's like a circle and then I'm gonna go ahead and buckle it onto the bag right here so you buckle it just like that see holds it just like that and now we have this super cute wristlet 
and honestly I love wearing it like this when I go out I think it's so cute and my friend when I first saw her with this bag she was wearing it like this and I thought it was the cutest thing ever but it is small so it doesn't fit a ton of stuff however it does fit everything I need um, but here's what it looks like when you open it up I do keep the tissue paper in here but this is how big it is so it definitely is a okay size it's not super tiny that you can't fit anything but it's not like big or bulky so here's my phone it fits in there no problem I could fit a lipstick in there I will usually put um, tissues and maybe like hand sanitizer my ID money all of that like fits totally fine in here as you can see there's still a lot of room but it also does have like a little pocket inside which sometimes when I'm using it I would put my money in there so functionality wise I think this bag is great um, you can wear a crossbody you can wear it shoulder you can wear it as a wristlet now let me just talk about um, some of the wear and tear okay because it's sort of important to know when you do buy this kind of bag how it's gonna wear and last right this bag is all leather so this one right here is a smooth leather it's not a grainy leather I do believe it does come in a grainy leather but when I purchased it um, they only had the smooth that was on sale and it was black with the gold hardware and I wanted to get it and unfortunately when you buy a bag that is smooth leather you can see a lot more wear and tear on it it gets scratched easier um, because it is so buttery soft right so any little thing can scratch it however if you take good care of it you should be okay it's kind of unavoidable right like you can't not scratch it because it is so buttery so as you can see there is like a little bit of a scratch here it's not you know major or anything I'm okay with it I do understand that when you use a bag that's gonna happen and I'm okay with that on the back here there is like another scratch here that you can kind of see in the light however I usually wear this at night and you can't see anything <laughs> um, this is like literally like hitting in direct sunlight so you can see but honestly it's pretty good it's really not that bad and I'm definitely okay with it right you just have to be careful other than that literally there's not really much other wear and tear you can see like the this buckle here does have some scratches on it but again that's gonna happen when you use a bag um, I've worn it more than 10 times um, but every time I'm always careful with my bags too I don't usually put them on the floor I never put them down I'm always I always have it on me so that's just something to consider. It fits in whatever you need for a good night out. However, keep in mind, if you're worried about um, scratching and stuff, you may not want to get a smooth leather. You may want to get a grainy leather. However, if you think you're good with your bags and you don't mind and you love the feel of a smooth, buttery leather, uh, then go for it. Now, in terms of wearing the bag, in terms of like fashion-wise, so one thing that I obviously like about this bag is that it's black, right? So it's going to match with everything. Um, I personally am not like a huge stud kind of person, right? I like to think, I like to keep things a little bit more like clean. However, however, I think this style bag did such a wonderful job with keeping it a little bit trendy, but still classic. Okay, and I've talked about in my other videos how I don't typically buy like a super trendy bag because I really want something that's gonna stand the test of time, if you say, and sort of stay in fashion and something that I'm gonna be able to use forever. So I think that the way this is done with the studs is done very tastefully and I don't think it's too much. I think it's beautiful. I think it adds just a little bit of something to a plain black bag. Um, so in terms of style wise, I think it's really cute. I think it's classic I think it's beautiful I don't think you would see this and be like oh my god that's totally out of style right like 
it's pretty clean it has some of the studs but it's not overwhelming so for that reason I think it passed the test okay I think it does um, either way I really like it I think it's really cute I think it dresses up like a cute little night out outfit um, even for dinner like I said I think it just gives it a little something and so for that reason I love it and and it also I think is super easy to go with almost any outfit you pair I think style wise it's perfect next um, price wise like I have said previously I did get this bag on sale so it was a good deal I believe I got it for around 900 um, which I think was a good deal I can't remember how much money was off it wasn't much I think it was a few hundred dollars that was off um, but price wise I think for a designer bag okay and something that is great quality and is cute and functional um, I think the price is good um, I know there are other designers like Chanel and Dior and, and Louis Vuitton that have raised their prices so much that it's almost impossible to find a bag for under a thousand dollars or a thousand dollars and under right so this is definitely one that I think is a good deal for what you're getting like I said it's really cute and it's a hundred percent leather um, it's beautiful and so I think if you're in the market to buy a designer bag and you don't want to spend too much money I would definitely recommend looking into Valentino and taking a look at this bag um, so now will I recommend this bag and the answer obviously is yes I really love it as you know I think it's adorable really wanted something little compact cute functional and I really think that it hits all of those points and so for that reason I do recommend it there's so many different ways that you can wear this bag too which I think is really really cool and so for that reason yes I recommend it so as always if you guys have any questions or if you want to know any more about this bag you can always leave a comment in the section down below I'll be happy to answer your questions and yeah I hope you guys liked this bag and I hope you enjoyed my video and I will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching